wrapped around and hit my heel. <laughs> to rest. It needs I'm scared. I'm scared. It needs I'm scared. to rest. I'm scared. Huh? I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> You got the tip of a dickhead. <laughs> you got the tip. That's so shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's hectic shit. Matt has come straight from work and he's just sat straight down. He hasn't even got out of uniform yet. He's just come straight from work and he sat down and welcome Matt Brown. And thank you for uh, getting off work and getting in so fast. What happened? What happened at work? Um, there was a fire. Uh, yeah, you look different. You look like there might have been a fire. Welcome to episode number four of the Money Mock Fully Actual Podcast. We're fucking loose units and we take the world by the scruff of the neck and we lift it up and we show, show, this, show the world a, a, a mirror and now you can see what who you really are. And that's what we're all about here at Marty and Michael Fully Actual, bro. So welcome and join in. Reflection is our direction. Oh, man. Matt, we have some that. good news and big news. Did you know? Good big news. Yeah, good and big. That means big. it's going to be shit. No, it's good no, no, and it's big. Fucking yeah, right. go the raddest thing since sliced bread. So guess who follows us who <laughs> is quite relevant? He won't believe it. You'll have to provide proof. I'm not no gonna, this is not going to have any this. care for me, is it? No, it's pretty cool. It's, it's not as good as I guess. Basketball. You, you will. I want. I guarantee you know this person, and it's crazy. Sorry, you lost me. I have three guesses. Stick with us, Brown. Football. Wendell Saylor. Holy shit! It's not. Wendell Saylor. Holy shit! Actually, no, let's hot. let's. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Anyway, I we're gonna we're gonna move on. That. We're gonna move on. Bullshit. But, uh, <laughs> Wendell. But Saylor. you need to know that that's what just happened is like so mind blowing, bro. Like I fucking I'm about to leave, eh? That was lit. <laughs> well, that, stop playing with the buttons, Matt. Yeah, you're not being here and present. You be present and you listen to us when cool we're talking to you. I'm trying drama. to make your microphone sound better so people uh, look, can it's hear you. Look, it's too late. We we are yeah. in it now, we and now it we midway. must be present. Wendell Sailor. That's better than Gordon Tallis. Shane Webke and fucking Darren Lockyer combined. Do you understand he he had a coke addiction? He was caught with cocaine. Do you understand that? That's and, relevant. And to he us. follows us. Okay, he, he does not. So 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 take your uniform off and join us, real people. Man, we got a crazy ass episode coming in. Man, we got we got fucking a really good prank call idea. We got how famous um, are we? You're gonna be you're gonna be so shocked at that. We got trauma trivia making a comeback. We listen to some of your voicemails, and of course, we have our fussy little boys. And Michael and Matt are gonna get a really yummy little treat. Yummy, yummy. You both love it so yummy. I don't wanna be anything <laughs> other than what I've been trying to be lately. Put that, put that back down. Back down. Michael's just lifted it up a One Tree Hill DVD. Well, people on Again. Spotify can see now. I don't have to explain things that don't make sense visually because everyone on Spotify can see, and that's great. So why don't you go ahead and give us a five-star review on Spotify, like, comment, and subscribe because it's the only way we grow this little community and we just want it to grow bigger and bigger so we can all just be friends forever and everyone's just happy with it, okay? We don't really make money on the podcast, so we just love doing it and we would just love it if you guys loved it and more people loved it we just want everyone to love it yeah, yeah. and speaking of five star reviews have we grown or what are we on let's check so i think we're on i've 2. been wanting 8. to hit Wait, 3k technically for people have been out of watch since season is episode two going to be yeah that's so right. they've been actually watching it for two episodes yeah. already yeah wow i'm kind Maybe. of excited unless they're driving see. unless you're really that's cool. so true you don't want to drive i still watch Video still two point eight k, still yeah, two point eight, you. still two point eight <sighs> five cast star reviews. It would be nice now. There's video as well to maybe just <laughs> give that a five star review. Um, <laughs> and yeah, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, please. I'm begging you. I'm on my fucking knees. I, I I'm so. I have nothing else. There's nothing else in my life, and I just need some validation from you guys. So fucking smash that subscribe button, everybody, and fucking pound that like button into the ground, baby. <laughs> Light it up. <laughs> My friend's a fucking banana, baby. Imagine if cool we found out today banana. that Matt's job was actually he goes and sells bananas at a fruit store and he's the banana out on the road holding signs saying 20% off fruit today. Spinner guy. Would you rather do that? <laughs> would I? If you got the same money, would you rather do that? <laughs> 
You just have to spin a banana sign around, dressed as a banana. And you have to be like pretty happy, like a big smile on your face, dressed as a banana. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I could. It'd, it'd be good for a week. Dude, if yeah, someone, maybe a week. back in the coaching days, if we were offered that oh, for, the, yeah. for the same money, I would have done that. Dude, easily. I would have done anything. Like have you ever coaching. done a job where you've had to do something like that? Not like that, but like coaching's kind of like that. Big smile mm. on your face and <laughs> come on, kids. <laughs> oh, no, I don't hate you. You're really well behaved. I love you. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck that. Fuck that. You fucking c so many of them were so naughty. Fucking kids. Didn't even want to be there and the parents make them go. Dumb. Sorry. Remember when they'd piss themselves on court? Oh! I was, no, I was cool with that. That was actually, I could relate. Yuck, I'd I could, say. No, I could relate. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And I'd shoot them away like that. And I'd make everyone point. Not laugh, just point and watch. I would be like, dude, I'm the same. I do that. No, I understand. <laughs> oh. I relate with you. Oh. Anyway. Marty pissed. Uh, I was in the pool before, and Marty started pissing in the pool. Yeah, well, it's it's disgusting. A, it's what happens, right? It's baby? weird how it's socially acceptable to piss when you're just in the pool, but then to get up and just piss in the pool when I you're don't standing do that out in of the my pool. pool. In our pool, I piss in every single pool I've ever gone Sometimes in. Sometimes I need to shit, bro. <laughs> I have actually. I've got a story that you guys don't know. I think you do. I was at a hostel in Central, Jamaica. No, in Nicaragua, South Central America. And at the hostel, I shat myself in the pool and a lot of people were very Did you, was there a me. trail yeah, of yeah, shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. There was a, there was a shit Dude, in there. Dude, oh, I wish we took a photo of that fucking shit I did on the boys trip. Oh my God. It was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. I went into the ocean to do a shit. You were there? Oh no, you were you weren't there. It was me, James, and Luke. Uh, we went into the ocean, and I needed to shit so badly. So I was like, I can't hold this anymore. So I ran into the water and did a shit, and like it just came out of me. It was like I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna say that long and hmm. in one piece because it doesn't fall apart because it's it's like floating in water. So it's just one long tube of shit that was like this long and it was kind of like floating along with us. Like Did you, you could, raise your ass you up could, to make it go? Because you can't just shit and it goes out because the current would fuck it up. You'd have to raise yeah, your yeah, ass Yeah, well, that's up. what happened. It was slowly snaking out, very gently kind of like snaking out as I pooed. It was like kind of beautiful. And then it kind of <laughs> swam along with us. We were running <laughs> alongside it. And I was like, look, boys, it looks like a snake. And they saw it and they couldn't believe that that was my shit. <laughs> he made a shit snake. Dude, a real fucking shit massive. Snake. Wow. But did, anyway- did hit anyone i don't know we got out of there after that but there weren't many people around but man that would have been nice <laughs> to see someone try and pick that up hey eh? oh man <laughs> anyway uh. what's else has been fucking going on man fucking weekend was hectic as shit just fucking fucking crazy shit michael's got an appointment with his specialist or the knee specialist tomorrow to see how much longer he's out for because if he's out for much longer look michael might have to pull out of this boxing fight yeah i can't I thought it's meant to be good by now. But then I realized when I spoke to my physio, I was like, she's like, yeah, that's just a like walking standard. And I was like, well, what do you mean? She's like, you probably won't be able to run, like go on a treadmill for another couple of months. And I was like, that's oh fucking my God. insane. So there's a very good chance that I will be doing this solo now. But thank God I've been, like I've been talking about, all right, I've been going down this alternate treatment for health and it is getting better and better. I did like fucking an hour of super intense exercise on Saturday. Not one skipped beat. I'm not feeling any blood pressure. My blood pressure is noticeably lower, far less skipped beats. And man, once I've got the results back, now I just got to go back to this specialist. And then once she's got me on, on everything that I need to be on, then I will fucking sit down and explain to you guys exactly what's happened. And that I highly recommend that you also go and do this, especially if you're someone with like, who's quite young, who's got high blood pressure or just has some shit that you shouldn't have fucking stay tuned for this shit because this will change your life. I've never felt better like heart wise. I don't have heart problems anymore. Like they're gone. And it's been fucking two or three weeks. And I, I'm just so, I, I, I think about it constantly because usually I'd be sitting on the couch and I'd be like, oh, fuck, I just ate some food. My fucking body will be D -d 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 for the next fucking four hours. So now that's not happening. My mind's constantly like, oh, that's not happening right now. So I'm always happy and I always notice now that I'm okay and you can be okay too.
This is fucking groundbreaking new shit. Listen to the podcast, Gary Brecker on Joe Rogan. I forget what number it is. It's like 20 episodes ago. Have a listen and then you'll start to understand the route I've taken. It is mind-blowing. Look at Matt, yawning, (sighs) trying to catch flies. He's starving. How was your weekend, Matt? Sore. (laughs) That's okay, Matt. Your turn. Tell everyone what happened to knee. So Matt's got sore knee one, okay, and Matt's got sore elbow one. Now sore elbow two. No, the elbow two is just a enlarged. A bit. <laughs> so elbow All two four enlarged. joints are currently <laughs> yeah. fucked. Mm. <laughs> That's fucked. So zero out of four. Well, yeah, Do four you, out of four. Uh, like I've said to Matt, I reckon if Matt does what I did, I reckon you go a long way in, in fixing your joints because you need like at least one. Man, I must say just having one fuck joint is a, is a shit life. I can't imagine having four fuck joints. Like that's four <laughs> times shit life, what I'm feeling. I feel shit. Like I've been so <laughs> depressed not being able to move my body. Imagine if Matt just had one good arm and kind of had to drag himself along the ground with just one good arm. Or if he just uses his chin. Or if he just became a fucking torso. Yeah, it was excruciating pain. <laughs> so it's just been rough, like you can't move and shit. Bedridden the whole weekend? No, At least not you got Netflix. <laughs> Dude, and I watched the, Netflix the way Matt the told me to was like Saturday, I think. <laughs> he just fucking woke up and it was there. So yeah, which, was, which is why we think it could be gout related is because it just appeared during my sleep. Yeah, I'm, I'm still quietly confident that you can f- reverse and fix all of this, Brown. You, tr- you take my word. That's why I'm laughing about it so wholeheartedly because I know there will come a time where you will sit there and you will laugh with me and you'll be able to do this with your joints all at the same time, can't I can oh, still I do still that. Can't well, go on. Fucking do it then. Yeah, faster, bro. I want to see some speed in it. Even I'm doing it with my bad joints. Come on. Come oh. on. Well, I mean, ah, that hurt a bit. Oh, that I, I saw it move. I pushed it a little bit too on that last one. Holy shit. Man, I, yeah, well, look, at least your heart is okay too, Brown. That's yeah. the main oh, thing. It's oh, probably You'd fucked. rather be fucked on the outside, like with the extremities, and then your sacred would, heart. It's okay. probably fucked. I would it's probably kill. fucked. I probably haven't had my blood pressure tested. It's probably fucked. I'm probably dead. No, so I'm pretty sure we did test that one. And you had it tested recently, man, when you when you went to the GP. I remember you said, and you told me the numbers, and they were very good. Um, and if I had my heart, at the peak of my heart shit, I would have killed for gout and all four joints. So <laughs> things can always I, be worse. I, I don't know. You won't ever get it, I don't think, the way I get uh, it. I guarantee I'll never get gout. I will look after my body. My body's my temple, unless it's a fucking Saturday yeah. night. <laughs> Bags of flour. Yeah. 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 Get a whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. Drug. <laughs> but other than that, yeah. squeaky yeah. clean, yeah. mother. I hope. Yeah. I, I kind of hope. Yeah, you never have to deal with it. It's so painful. So it's okay. We'll look. How, out of ten? Ten. Ten out of ten. It's right. F- worse than pissing out the stone that when you decided no, no, to piss pissing out, rocks. out. Pissing out the stone doesn't doesn't hurt. You oh. just feel like a little. I and thought, I thought uh, that's but meant to be horrific kidney stones. No, no, no. It's the traveling of the stone. Ah, yeah, getting yeah, yeah. To, so was that worse than, than gout? Um, fuck. No, that was definitely worse. But okay, so that, so that wasn't 10. No, you can't have something worse yeah. and be a 10. That's not how the, the pain scale works. But they're different pains, if that makes sense. Yeah, I, I completely understand. Yeah. But 10 is like, it's not bearable. It, it is not bearable. It, it, nine is still, you can, you like can walk it's around not, with a nine. It's not bearable to use that joint at the moment. It should right be now. fine by next week. Yeah, I think you'll probably, be... It'll probably. It'll probably heal. But hopefully. Yeah. A couple of days, you'll be fine. Hopefully, dude. Hopefully yeah. that fucking shit feels... So look look after yourself, guys, all right? And do you know a really easy, simple way to do that, right? Health is so important. Mm. Life is... I'm not even fucking kidding. 50 times better when you when your body is fine and healthy, all right? And then it feeds into your head being healthy. And there's something, there's a product right now that can help you take the first steps into becoming immortal. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. It prolongs your life, pretty much. And it's called AG1. It's a green powder that you mix into your drink. You have it once a day, and it gives your body 75 nutrients and minerals that absorb through your stomach, get into your blood, and your blood takes it to every organ, to every millimeter, every cell in your body. 
brother and you become healthier there is no way you can absorb these 75 nutrients from a normal diet right that's right get some help bro this shit is fucking healthy it's all right. right it is yeah a little, a little bit expensive it's like a hundred and something bucks a month a subscription or rocks up on your front door health. but guess what bitch you fucking dumb bitch. It's so fucking healthy. And I promise you, when you are riddled with disease, you will look back and think, my fucking God, do I wish I splashed out a bit more on my fucking health rather than getting a carton on the fucking weekend. You it's a Saturday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> Do all the drugs. Yeah. But then on a Sunday, you have that AG1 mm. to counter the effects, all right? It's expensive because it works. It's healthy. It's good for you. Trust me. I wouldn't be saying this shit if I didn't believe it. Fun fact about AG1, it's the only word on earth that has the same amount of syllables and the same amount of letters. A G one. That's Boom. how you spell it. Boom. But then, if you want to use the syllables, A G one. And also, there's three stages in life: the beginning, middle, and end. A G one. I don't think so. That just goes to show that is fact. That's a fact you've got written down now. <laughs> yeah, you write fact. that shit down, and that is proof that you go get A G one. Link in the description. Don't let me down. You get A G one. Get on it. Get on it. Don't let me down. That's three syllables. Three syllables too. as well. Coincidence? Not a fucking chance in the hell. Ba na na. Three syllables. Everything's threes, Matt. Matthew Brown. Boom! Oh yeah! Oh, unless it's a sad. Fully actual. Boom! Oh man. That's four. Oh man. Depends how you say it, brother. Depends all in how you say it. <laughs> fully actual. <laughs> 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 Oh, no. Manscaped. Ooh. Manscaped. Shut up. Three. Man. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild, bro. I never even realized that shit. Yeah. But you know what else I've never realized? That I'm a disgusting, gross looking, Michael. fucking disgusting animal looking thing that can't fucking get looked at by a bird if I screamed her name out loud in a stadium. You know why? I got hair all over me, fucking limbs and shit. Oh, I got thick black hair. It's, oh, it's, oh, I know it's not pretty to look at, but oh, there's nothing I can do about it. It doesn't matter. I'm too old. I'm too over the hill. No one's going to care if my legs look like I'm, I'm fucking part ape and there's just back fat covered in fucking fur everywhere and there's big tufts of hair that kind of make you look like a stray dog protruding from your fucking chest and shit. Shut up! Just shut up! Back off! You fucking back out! Yeah. Back out of it! Yeah, because you know what? You can always start. Even if you are a 40-year-old fucked up fat c One step is all it takes. Go to manscaped.com and get a fucking shaver and do something. Start somewhere. You look like shit. What's sloth. that promo code? You're a Have sloth. Have some fucking respect. Cloth. And use our discount code... Fully actual 20. There you go. 20% off. You yeah, can't afford Fully it. Fully actual 20. I can't afford it. I don't have any money. Fully I just gave 20. you 20% off. And that, no, I'm going to, it's, remember. It's 50% get, this, off. Yeah, this will get more sales. Yeah. You get 50% off. Yeah. If Full, you use fully actual 20. 100% off. Fully actual 20 and you will get a free gift pack with $50,000 cash. Free gift yeah, pack. That'll work. That'll <laughs> get. Uh, and you shave your fucking legs and you finally look like a decent human being. Yeah, okay. You, spend your 50K. you might be of the frame of mind that no one cares what you look like. Well, guess what? If you look after yourself, then people will start noticing you. They think, oh, Brad's gone and shaved his legs. Oh, I'd fucking fuck his cock now. Yeah, they'd I've get seen horny. it. They'd get horny <laughs> for you. They got ball wipes and shit. Just go and have a look, manscaped.com. And when you figure out what you need, fully actual 20 or get you sucked off 20%. 20% sucked straight off the end of it. Promise. <laughs> also for women, big hairy <laughs> women. butch bitches, big hairy butch bitches out there. Go to Manscaped. We'll be right back with a big fucking bong break, written fucking diary dream shit. Oh. The break, have a bong, have a bong, have a break. Here I go, baby.
<laughs> this is the real shit. <laughs> and we're back. You know, bananas are a little bit nucle- nuclear radioactive. Yeah, apparently, you know, cockroaches, they're the same. So Matt's kind of being like a like a cockroach right or now. Or like nuclear shit, I think. You could shit yourself in that and no one would know. All right, everyone, it's time. I smell weed. Mm. I have in my cold, nervous hands the innermost thinkings of the brown mind. We should make a jingle for this. This is the brown dream diary this is where matt brown writes down in details all of his dreams so someone somewhere out there can interpret these and finally explain to matt what they all mean he's confused he's scared he's killed someone before let's listen in close also fun fact about dreams is sometimes when you've done something you dream about what you've done so these could also be just diary entries Look, it's a matter of interpretation, bro, but I have heard that sometimes your mind forgets something traumatic, right? And then fucking boom, you dream about it and you're like, oh yeah, that actually happened to me. I'm not saying that's relatable here, but let's see what happens, Brown. Okay, let's enjoy it. Mm, Strap back, boy. Dear Dream Diary, last night was explosive. I woke up from my dream drenched in sweat and had three dead dogs in the bed with me. I had to carefully discard them without waking my girlfriend. I wasn't sure how it happened, but then I remembered my dream. (laughs) It started and I was kind of suspended in a fluid. I didn't need to breathe and the place I, I was in felt small and constricted. I noticed I had some sort of cord attached to my stomach. Very strange. Then suddenly I felt the walls around me contract. That kind of pushed me down and I could hear screaming coming from outside my enclosure. The contractions became more and more intense and I noticed I was starting to get forced further and further down. I pushed hard and tried to resist. I was scared about what was happening outside of this little home I was floating in. After some time fighting, my arms fatigued and I had no choice but to let the contractions win. They squeezed me down a soft and tight tunnel. I looked up and saw some light pouring in. Oh no, what is this place? I started panicking and screaming. No, no, please! And then with one last big push, I rocketed out of my fleshy chair tube and was hit with extreme bright lights. I was no longer warm and safe. The cold air stung my skin and strange men with masks were standing over me. They were ten times the size of me. I inhaled my first ever breath of air and felt my lungs expand. (gasps) Fuck off! Don't fucking touch me! Undeterred, the giant masked men lift me and cut through my attached cord with ease. Ah! What the fuck that hurt? Why are you doing this? They wrapped me a warm blanket around me, fastening my arms to my side. Then they handed me to another stranger. She was lying down and looked all fucked and sweaty, the gross bitch. I looked down and realised that this person was the one I had been living in. They rested me on her chest and she gently lifted my blanket away from my face. She had soft, <laughs> loving smile and tears in her eyes and I started to relax. She doesn't seem so bad, I thought. I could sense her love and I felt it back. Then oh. I noticed her smile faded. <laughs> Her eyebrows changed and she looked confused. Does he have Down syndrome? She asked, (laughs) and the masked men in the office. I felt her energy towards me change and she picked me up and held me at arm's length. Can someone take a look at this? I wouldn't have had him if I'd have known he had Down syndrome. How did you not, how did that not come up in the tests? (laughs) The masked man looked, took me and looked at me. They had the same expression the lady did. Confusion and disgust. (laughs) Sorry, Mrs. Brown, but yeah, I think he may have Down syndrome. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's so bullshit. I just wanted a regular kid. Yeah, I'm very sorry, Mrs. Brown. But there is something we can do about this (laughs) if you don't think you can handle it. The masked man looked at Mrs. Brown and she took a second. Then nodded. The masked man took me and stormed out of the room. He ripped my blanket from me and tossed it in the bin. He walked with purpose and held me by my ankles as my small naked body slung from side to side. Help! 
Help! Help me! No one even looked at me, and this masked man continued to storm down the hall. He reached the end of the hall and came to a stop at a door that said the word mistakes written on it. He opened the door, and what greeted me was horrific. There were three large pit bulls, all barking and snarling at us. I noticed limbs from other babies scattered around, and blood splatter all over the walls. The masked man just tossed me in the room from the doorway and slammed it shut behind me. I slapped and skidded along the ground. Adrenaline filled my body, and I managed to stand. I was only 30 centimetres tall, but I had no choice but to fight. That pit bull started slowly encroaching on me. I glance to my left and see a piece of broken glass. I pick it up and catch my reflection. I did look different. <laughs> my face was not like my usual face. It was kind of smooshed together and didn't look right. I didn't have time to process this revelation as a pit bull charged at me. It lunged at me and I drove this broken piece of glass up through, through the fucker's jaw. <laughs> The glass protruded through the snout and he ripped his head sideways and ran off with the glass still in him while he was yelping. I stared at the other two pit bulls. Come on then, you c I charged at the dogs as fast as I could on my wobbly little legs. The dogs ran at me and as I went to throw a punch, the pit bull bit down and crushed my arm immediately. The dog shook its head with my arm still in it and my body violently ripped from side to side. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I felt my shoulder get ripped out of its socket and my neck snapped from the whiplash. The pit bull let go and I went flying across the room again. I looked up just as the other pit bull ran at me and with my last ounce of strength, I slung my thumb, thumb deep into the mutt's eye. It sunk so deep that its eye into its eye that it went all the way to my second knuckle. <laughs> the pit bull reacted and backed off. My thumb slipped out. The other pit bull was behind me and its jaws gripped onto my skull. I clawed at its face desperately, but it was no use. The jaws continued to tighten and I felt its teeth pop through my skull. I felt cracking, then snap! My skull collapsed under the weight of the bite <laughs> and that's when I woke up from my dream. I recognised the dead dogs in the bedroom as my neighbour's dogs and I just hoped that no one had seen me attack them during my night. Hmm. I don't really understand what any of this means. I'm so confused and scared. What is happening in my mind? Oh yeah, and it was a wet dream. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Imagine if Matt had Down syndrome and we all just didn't realise. Well, we are. I don't really know what that means. Maybe that's yeah. a fear of yours. Um, I don't know. I don't think the being Down syndrome part was more the being reborn and not not being loved. Yeah, yeah, because of the the Down and, syndrome. And then, yeah, funny that it was Rottweilers because you're scared of them. No, I like them. No, pit bulls. It was. I was pit bulls. Sorry, my bad. I thought you said Rottweilers. No, no, no. I, I said pit bulls multiple times, Matt Brown. Sorry. So. Oh man, that was fucking. That was a good, good yarn. I apologize for my downed enthusiasm today. I'm in quite a large amount of pain. Why don't you have some painkillers and? Um, I did. What one? Dude, Voltaren. You got endones? No, I just I just had something small and it's working slowly. I think. Why don't you go and have an endone? I don't, I don't want. Yeah, can endone. we get back to that? Fuck me. That's got endones. There just is in case. endone that in this house, and it's been in this house for years. No, it hasn't. Fuck a year and a half since we've been here. I, I still can't believe that's bullshit. Since Don't you, you pissed that's out, bullshit? Since you pissed out that rock, you've had fucking endone sitting here. If you yeah. have an endone, you you give it a, you do it. Share you do it. The, it's my endone, Michael. How much does it cost for us to have the endone? You can't have it. Well, how that's much bullshit. how much money would it take right now? If we pulled out two hundred dollars cash, you wouldn't give us two endones. No. Bullshit. What about if I had a Connor, no, Michael Jordan black belt? <laughs> a black belt that he wore while playing. <laughs> Nothing. No. That's bullshit, man. That's if I had endone man. and you asked for an endone, I would give you an endone. I saw this via Instagram on the weekend, so I don't know how true it is, but we'll run with it. Mm. <laughs> so uh, somewhere in America... Uh, Colorado, actually. Um, so they f the the police found 189 dead bodies just rotting in these people's funeral home. <laughs> and oh, I heard about this. Did you hear about this? And they and basically the the funeral home directors or owners were basically taking people's money and just discarding their loved ones into a into a room, and then yeah, just taking the cash and and not doing like not putting it into the funeral. They were yeah. just off on holiday. 
Yeah, well, like it's it's you know it makes kind of sense. You can't really be upset when you're dead. And you know what caught me is that um they apparently they would give their burnt um family members back, and it's not it wasn't actually ashes. It was concrete dust you think that you would just like like be like off oh, like it's not hard to just burn something yeah you think it's like the tiny job instead of picking them up throw them in a room just pick them up throw them in a furnace same I don't shit know. yeah I, I don't know the ins and outs but yeah they, apparently they didn't want to do that so it must have been quite a sight to find that room i yeah, think you're very would've, racist would've, would've, would've smelled that does nothing to do with yeah, sorry I, I just yeah. get confused yeah. sometimes everyone it's okay. does it's 2024 yeah all right, guys, it is time for a segment that we like to call oh, no. The Fussy Little Boys. Fussy Little Boy, Fussy Little World. These are Fussy Boys. Fuss, 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 fuss. World. All right, and this is a segment where the boys oh. are going to taste actual real food, but, you know, it's, it's, it, it's usually food that you takes an acquired taste, so not, not your regular, like, normal food that you would get, just some kind of strange out-there foods, and we're going to see which of the two is a fussy little boy. Oh, we're going to see how fussy you boys are. Can't wait to Last give week this or one the week you. before, you won because you were fine with the fucking blue cheese. Yeah, but yeah, I don't mind spat the it out, though. It is oh, yeah, I had Man, spat it out. Once so we bad. shoved it all in my mouth in one go. Now my zero. prediction today is it's going to be veal. <laughs> <laughs> Raw veal? <laughs> is veal a thing? That's actually not it's a, a bad Isn't idea. that a baby something? No, it's a fucking um, deer or some shit. Oh, man. Oh, okay. I watched how mints were made today. They just put bones and shit in. And they crunch them <laughs> up my and they up. spit it out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do they put bones in for Literally mints? They put bones into mints. Really? Fucking yeah, insane. baby bones. Oh, but apparently bones are okay, though. Yeah, They're just a little ones. They should get caught in your, in your teeth a bit. Oh. All right, here we go. James is here with oh. fussy little boys. <laughs> and I know what it is this week. And, it's a, and it is a delicious food. It is oh, an absolutely yeah. oh, delicious fuck. food. Today's feast is... Sydney rock oysters oh. with with trout ocean <laughs> trout caviar served with spring onions and some finest red wine vinegar. Oh, dude, dude it's so fun, dude! Yum, I literally just ate three in the kitchen. They're fucking unbelievable. Yeah, oh my god, dude! Looks so good. The orange balls is what's pissing me yeah. off the most. <laughs> they're eggs. They're, they're fish eggs. Fish eggs, bro. They're fucking fish <laughs> eggs. Look at their fucking faces, bro. Look at their fucking faces, bro. Oh, you 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 oh, gotta hate this are. shit, Brown. Do you want that, us to what's demonstrate that? how to do it? Yeah, do you want me, James? Yeah, I'm. A, I, I can't see me getting past Wait, one. We've got to oh choose. We've got my to make sure god, this is. <laughs> fucking disgusting. Can you show us well, how I'd to do it too? I'd recommend to uh, pour out a little bit of the liquid because these are very fine oysters. Mm. So they're very juicy. Let's see. Let's oh, see that. Oh, see how it's slightly, yeah. it's slightly gelatinous. Mm, it's not yeah, like water. Yeah. It's like a syrup almost. Uh, a sea syrup. It's almost like the oyster has sweated in its enclosure. And you do just you guys drain that taste oil. it when you eat yours? Oh, I do. Yeah. yeah, yeah, baby. So you get the fork. You gotta loosen the membrane. Yeah, you gotta get the membrane see? stuck on you. You gotta rip that bit off. Loosen it. You can be quite rough. It's fine. Can you see that? See, see now, but I'm not gonna eat it like that. I'm gonna <laughs> put it back into the shell. Then I'm gonna get a little. A little why? Bit. Why is they in that? What's that? Oh, well, you don't have many serving bowls in this brown house, Brown. So I had to use a cup. Okay. Sorry. And I pour that liquid into what there. What is that liquid Yummy. from there? And then just boom. What's the liquid from the cup? Just a vinaigrette. <sighs> oh, fuck, man. Mm. Fuck. You'll feel. I feel I can taste it in my oh, mouth man, already. That is so good, Marty. You'll oh. feel the fish eggs actually pop. Like a little pop and a liquid no, no, comes so. out. I promise oh, you. my God. Ma Whoa. Do not Dude, swallow the bad. eggs without bad. chewing them a little bit. It, it, it's so we've got to chew. you got to chew a little bit. Probably oh. like five, six chews and then Every, you can swallow. But Jane, everyone I see that does oysters, they always down them like a shot. No, they don't. If they don't. know how to eat oysters oh properly, God. if they're down and they don't, they don't actually do like oysters. I don't know if I could do that. <clears throat> All right, let's just see how nice and creamy these oh, ones are. Give Michael some room. I, I feel a vomit coming on. Dude, it is such a oh, bad looking so Even, Mar oh, even Marty yeah. looked like he struggled for a yeah, second. I try to make it look as unappetizing as possible. <laughs> I that can't. is, they are really big, kind of fishy oysters. You guys are in for a real treat. Hey, 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 
I want to choose you. I want to choose you the best one. This no! <laughs> he just poured, no! He just poured it all his oh, shit no, out. Are you meant to do that? You can't pour out the eggs, but you can pour out the liquid yeah. shit. Oh. Speak oh, of the way, devil. I'll give, some, I'll give you some eggs from a different one. All right, so they look like Dragon Balls. These are really big oysters too. They're like, it's Don't a good like palm of your hand. Holy shit, why'd you have to say that's the thing that pissed me off the most? Yeah, yeah, they're really Choose big, mine, fleshy, they're creamy it's... oysters. They're not the freshest. He's pouring it out! No, I'm just no, getting the okay. juices out. That's what You should have listened to the description, bro. Yeah, I wasn't. I, how could you listen at a, at a time like that? Michael's All right, now grab like a little fork so you can loosen and rip it rip it off the shell. So how much do uh, I pour this in? A good, a good oh, teaspoonful. What's uh, that green um, shit? Oh, Spring dude, onions. I can't. Spring onions. I can't. Yeah. Look at that sh- but I can't look at that sh- so who's going to go first? The vinegar's good Looks shit. like a, like, yeah, like an organ or like a booger or something yeah. from oh, it. Oh, oh, looks oh, like oh. A, the texture is a, very booger. Looks like a ripped up <laughs> flap. Oh. <laughs> with, a, with a bit of wart on it. Ripped up <laughs> flap with oh. wart on it. <laughs> now slip it, slick it down your <laughs> throat and do it. Oh, it's creamy. It's stuck, it's stuck. It does is that meant like to come a off? It's a vagina that's been on Pornhub for way is it, too uh, many hey, years. Is that that's smashed up. Is that Oh my oh god! god. <laughs> <laughs> Just a real ripped up, smashed <laughs> coming off! <laughs> it looks like coal. <laughs> oh my god. No, you gotta hey, use the fork. Eat it now. I'm eat getting now. the juice out. No, you need some of the juice in there, bruh. Let it slip around your mouth and really feel your teeth sink through the creamy, fleshy. <laughs> Oh, I can't do this, hey. I seriously right. can't do I'm it. I'm going for it. All right, you go first. Go on, mate. Here we go, mate. Come on, mate. I'm going to bite it? Yeah, you just give it a bit chew. of a chew. Oh. Is it loose? Is it ready to pour? I you should be able so. to pour yeah, it. Go in yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. That's dude. it. It's oh, my God. I hate this. Looks like a fucking meat yogurt. Looks like meat yogurt. <laughs> oh, my heart's pounding. I can feel I'm, I'm Marty. I feel my heart in my chest. Oh, That's what I off. lived with for four years, baby. Okay. I can't do this, eh? Who's <laughs> the brown? He's oh, yeah. Oh, Slip it down, yeah. Mm, Freshly fucked it. pussy. Smashed hard. Oh, mm. Okay. Mm, Can you feel the uh, Squelchy uh, pot. Dude, I can't. Mm, squelchy, crunchy pussy cream. <laughs> I feel sick. <laughs> Michael's going to fall. Right, Matt, have you ever had an oyster before? Wow, Look, he's really struggling. struggling with oh, that. this is fucked, oh, man. That's a yeah. <laughs> you hated that. You be honest. It's so do, squishy. Do another what do you, one, round. Like, what do you give it out of ten? I oh, put too much uh, uh, vinegar in it, probably, but no. I think that's what got me through it. Just wait, just wait, Matt. What what do you give it? Oh, like a one and a half. One and a half. All right, so Matt gives one. We know Michael is technically <laughs> fussy. <laughs> Look at his f-ing face right now, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Alright, just oh, throw, throw dude. It around. <laughs> dude, it's like eating a, a leech. <laughs> it's like a dead leech. Oh, it's like a. Oh, dude, I squish. <laughs> squish. It's like a bit of chicken that's been like left in the sun for four yeah, days. Squish snail. It's been f- hard and fast. <laughs> no man, dude, this is so not good. <laughs> Vinegar in it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I take your right, headphones off. Here we go. Here we go. So I, I took my headphones off because I thought. Here we f-ing go. The fussiest <laughs> boy is grew up f-ing eating trolley worms for dinner. <laughs> and a pack of ice cream. Now he's about to have a creamy, soft, <laughs> slip straight out of an infection. Chew it. He has to chew it. Infection hot, <laughs> slippery mess, exploding fluid into your f-ing mouth. Squishy, Yummy squishy, and squishy. And Dead chicken. He swallowed. It. He's good. Cream! No! Oh, oh, dude, it's so <laughs> sick. Taste the aftertaste. Yeah, it was not good. <laughs> All right, Michael, what do you give that out of 10? <laughs> oh, my God, dude. It's like... it's Yeah, it's a one. It's a one. It's, one a I taste one. fish there. Oh, yeah. What's yuck. worse, blue cheese or that? Oh, man. Definitely I, that. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine I'd that eat that fucking on a blue cheese. They're, they're, I'm pretty, thinking, they're pretty on par. Like that, I feel sick now that uh, knowing that that's inside my belly. <laughs> it just doesn't look right. Did you chew the little pop things? Oh, yeah, did dude. you feel the pops? Yeah, of yeah. The yeah. Mm. It now it tastes like fish. It tastes fish. Mm. I taste fish. Yeah, still living. They're all mm. still living. Really? 
that was living until I rammed the knife into it. I opened, I shut them personally. Five Did you actually? Ago. Yeah. Raw. You, you know how to shut? Yeah. Wow. That's so Dude, cool. I'll teach oh you. Oh my god, I feel sick just if thinking you buy about them it. Opened already from the fish shop. You're a piece of shit. Yeah, that's what usually, shucked mean. It means like they're in their little hole and you got to shut the knife in and split the lips. So the sloppy little flat as fucking you can get at it once oh. you pour all the sick juice out of it and put some fucking nice big thick fish eggs exploding with salty fucking infection. All right, enough more, enough more. Did you film any behind the scenes of making that? No, I should have. It bloody looks lovely. It looks yeah, it actually looks really good. We should do that more, I think, for each one. Just so, yeah. and we can slide that oh, in I'll to do the. That next time. We can I slide that in. Guys, good food. This is good food. People yeah, pay yeah. like. It's like eighty dollars yeah. in a restaurant. I would for that. People can eat fuck fucking... off. Guess how much a tiny jar this big of those little orange things was? <sighs> Fifty bucks. Thirty-eight. It's pretty pricey. It is very pricey. Yeah. There was ones there for eighty. I'd but rather... they were the little black what ones. What Fish eggs. Delicacy. Plain rice. I'd rather plain rice, rice forever yeah. over that. Plain rice and salt. No, I'd rather that over Imagine that. Imagine having that, like like fifty of them in a bowl with milk for breakfast, <laughs> cunt. <laughs> How much, money would Seafood take? Cereal? How much money would it take for you to eat a bowl of cereal but just oysters with milk? There's just no taste to them. The, Man, vinegar, the vinegar oysters gives them taste. And but. a big bowl of milk, it would cost me, I reckon, $2,000 to do that. Yeah, that'd be, I reckon that'd even be hard. Oh, that'd me. be so hard. They're, it's the, if they're good quality oysters and they're fresh, it's much easier. If they're older... Oysters are difficult, even for myself. Yeah, How many oysters nice do you boys. think you could eat in one sitting? Oh man, I've probably eaten fifteen in, in one go. Before. Do you reckon you could do fifty? I had fifty in Tasmania. I don't know. Wow. I don't know if mm -hmm. I could do fifty. I actually. had them for dinner. That was it. Yeah, Did you? Wow. Sh was your shit different? I don't think so. Imagine just those just came out. Just little fucking fucking, fucking half <laughs> thing with an arm came out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no more. Can you can you take that away? Yeah, I'll finish them. I, oh, oh thank left. you very you much. Shane. No, no, I'm okay. I'm fucking oh, man. fasting. I wonder how the f the first person to, who ate an oyster discovered that. Well, it was probably some super starving dude. Just oh, some cracked some up. super just starving in the water. Little German that. boy. Little German boy. Yeah, I bet he was. Ich hab so viel Hunger. Ich sterbe hier. Ich muss was essen. Oh, was ist denn das hier für ein Scheiße? Oh, 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 oh das ist nicht so schön, Alter. Oh, oh, das schmeckt nichts zu. Oh, das ist eigentlich okay. <lacht> <lacht> oh, let's do that voicemail segment. That's fucked, man. Oh, oh yeah. <lacht> <laughs> and this is a segment where you guys call us on 04666 02333 and leave us your voicemails and fucking text messages and all sorts of funny fucking shit. Now, we realized today that it's a bit. So, in episode two, we asked you guys to send in stories. What was it? Man, I taste terrible now. <laughs> what do we ask him to? Uh, we're going to do like Bender worst stories. surgery stories. Oh, yeah, worst surgery stories. But that episode hasn't even come out today yet. So it's like we're three weeks behind when we're actually going to hear it. So let's just change the segment a little bit and just just, just send us shit. Your most fucked up stories of yeah. life. Sounds like if you want to make a fucking yeah. weird sound. Make us laugh. A fart. If you want to record a fart. If you want to just send Matt Brown, just let him know what you think of him and uh, when he looks like oh. that. If, if you. That was a bit of oyster I just spat yeah, out. Dude, stuck I in my tooth. It's so bad mm. now, man. It usually stays together. You have to chew it for a long time for it to break apart. You chew it and you chew it. It's like gum. It's fucking oyster gum. You can't break it apart, brother. <laughs> oh, it sits, in, it sits in you and stays together. Oh, I feel it in my body. It's probably. I feel flopping it. around, crawling up your fucking windpipe. Anyway, if you've got fucked up stories of yeah. life, just anything cool, good just stories, call we'd us, love to hear. Okay, it. call us 04666-02303. The number is there, everyone. It's right there. Please, let's have a chat, bro. Yeah, actually, we're gonna call someone today who I've just got a good feeling about that's gonna tell us the fuck story. So, we'll play some. All right, do you want to? Um, let's let's Michael's gonna go try and find some of the voicemails that we think are worthy to play and maybe some text messages Matt Brown sits and cups his testicles as he's worried about the radiation from the light giving him more testicular cancer yeah hey boys how you going I can also think of uh, one time on the bender bloody oh, it would have been three four days in fucking 
had a bit of a mishap, you know, you're fucking on everything off your fucking face and bloody drinking beers all bloody night. You fucking jump out the car to take a piss, right? It has that sweet, sweet release and fucking just the feel of bloody euphoria. Next minute, fucking... <laughs> oh, good is good. That? Good is that? I was like, what, did something go wrong? Did we accidentally press pause? Wake up, wake up, fucking taste down here, piss, bloody, fucking me noggins all bloody scratched up, fucking just drunk, like, oh, well, boys, have a, have a fucking good one, eh? I can't wait for the new potties to come out. All right. I made it out like it Dude, was yeah. you, but that's like, because it just cut out. Dude, but also, have I, you ever woken been up? So funny if that's how he ended it, and then yeah. fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoyed the ending of that. He um, I remember one time, and sorry to say this, Henry, but we were at uh oh. in Thailand, and Henry fucking passed out on the toilet, shitting, and we were drinking, and we couldn't find him for like fucking over an hour and then I went into the toilets and there he was just face down on the toilet and he'd passed out. Yeah, Henry was always able to sleep wherever. It's such a, I'm so jealous of... People like, who can do yeah, that stuff. Yeah. Monique's like that. She can just fall asleep. She'll be like, all right, I'm going to sleep now and then I'll look over in a minute like she's literally just said it and I'll look over in the car and she'll be asleep already. Yeah, that's incredible that people can just switch off. God, like that. I would like that. That's, it's like a superpower. Henry's is more alcohol-induced, but Which, like... I wonder if we could like... If someone was so good at sleeping that they could just be a guest on the podcast and we just, we don't talk to them or anything. And then we see, like, and we check back in 15 minutes, see if they can just fall asleep while just sitting here. Yeah, well, I'd be down. We should, anyone out there who can just fall asleep on demand, contact if us, you think, ring us. Yeah. The, if you think that you can fall asleep whilst being on this podcast set, we won't talk to you or touch you but you have to fall asleep within 15 minutes. If you think you can do that, give us a call on this number, okay? 04666-02303, mate. <laughs> Our number's got the bloody 666 in it. That's a bit, uh, that's a bit scary, isn't it's it? It's not a good sign. <laughs> at all. This is the next one. It's from Molly, and she's a girl, and that's cool. Holy shit. Hey, guys, it's Molly. Um, my vendor story that I'd love to have on your podcast is I was actually on a bender about a year ago now with my ex-partner, just smashing loads of fucking acid. Hmm. And my injury was I actually got pregnant. So, yeah, now I've got a one-year-old daughter and, yes, oh you know, love the podcast. <laughs> so, Molly, wow. she had an acid baby. She oh, had, my God, an acid baby. That, that's a repercussion and a half. Dude, imagine that on acid. Like, imagine if you could feel yourself becoming impregnated while you're on acid. That'd be so fucking trippy. Oh, just the sounds. You, you feel the fucking hectic cum like fucking worming its way up. You could hear all the shit. sounds of each little baby like yeah, trying yeah. to get there. Yeah, bro. <laughs> if you could put your hand right here and you can feel the vibration of the sperm swimming and fighting each other, bro. I found a way oh, in. That would be so <laughs> hectic. I would fucking love to feel that, bro. Seriously. I can't, remember we all used to be sperms. Yeah, we, we all used to be a little sperm. We were the dominant of our uh, our launch. Yeah, isn't that crazy? That's like I'm kind of like, what the fuck? Like, surely there's there was a better sperm than this. There, I was just won. I was lucky because on my dad's load, I was the only sperm. So mm, I was just, just one. one. I had no competition. Yeah, wow. <laughs> So Seriously. you just could have just took your time. I took my time, yeah. I was actually... You went up to your mum's breasts for a while yeah, yeah, well, and hung kind of around swim. her areolas and you were licking them and circling them with your little sperm tongue. They, and then you worked your way up to her throat and were kissing her gently here. It took three found months one of your after up there the conception too. for her to get pregnant. <laughs> yeah, found a few three more sperms in the back of her throat. A dying sperm was in the throat. She, yeah, it took three months after they fucked oh, till they knew that she was pregnant. So I was technically in my mum's body for 12 months. I, just I wonder if that mom. kid's going to be like, like, imagine if it just hallucinated forever because when it was made, like, there's like acid in there and that, and like, yeah. that goes in the cell, that's like in the cell. <laughs> Hallucination. And if that lot morphs, morphs together and that lot keeps That's going forever. That, you would fucking think that that hallucination shit go and morph with it, bruh. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Oh. This next one is <laughs> an unknown caller, but I'm going to say his name's Dean. I reckon oh. Walton. No, it's fucking, guess who it is? It Dean, our mate Dean, fucking website singer Dean. Oh, so it is Dean. Yeah. So you guess that and it is Dean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well done. Really? Wow. Says it. And he says it. Hi, guys. This is your UK friend, Dino. Dean. Dino. 
the singer man. <laughs> I'm just rung up to say that Matt, you're fucking disgusting. <laughs> you little fucking cards, your basketball cards, <laughs> your bullshit fucking stickers. You're a disgrace. Your bald head makes me want to throw up all over my mother's back. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> anyway, guys, great podcast. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a few questions. Good old thing. Oh <laughs> yeah. One, why is he throwing why is he in the vicinity of his mother's twat to throw up on it in the first place? Oh, he, like yeah, it's pretty common for me too. Oh. He must be German then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah He's English me. German. English Same German. Thing. Oh all right. Well that explains it all. This one <laughs> is look, just here we go. Hello. Boys, boys, have I got a bender story? So, Bender, uh, New Year's Eve, uh, no, fucking, what am I saying? Sorry, I'm a little bit cooked. Uh, <laughs> Australia Day, uh, back in 2021 or 2020, can't remember, uh, too many benders. Uh, I fucking tried to backflip off a probably about two metre ledge into the pool. Oh, no. Uh, did the backflip. Fuck fucked yeah. up, hit my head as I went in. Oh. Fucking gashed myself to the shit. Oh. Kept drinking a bunch of piss. So just got fucking knee deep in the fucking grog. And then <laughs> the boys around me were saying fucking, you know, by this stage I was fucking out of my mind. Fucking, you know, I'll let you fucking anticipate what the bender meant. But I was fucking out of it. The boys were saying, go to the hospital, had a few more drinks, fucking went to hospital, 18 stitches in my head, fucking necked it up, and then uh, kept fucking, kept partying. Went back, the boys were still at mine, and just fucking kept going. Kept <laughs> charging, baby. Got a little bit of fucking sniff sniff, a bit of MD, and uh, I was more rolled than when I fucking hit my head. So that's my bender story. Love you, boys. Love you too, dude, man. Dude, find- 18 stitches is no joke. Yeah, like, that is a lot. It's amazing how some of these people go back. Oh, after yeah. I get it. It's you don't want to so miss much out. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and a like, common trend I find. You have gone so far. Like you've you've been you've done showman. the you've, you've done the hard work. Sacrificed your body for everyone. He's fucked himself up doing a backflip trying to show off. The boys have probably told him to do the backflip. Going, come on, mate, you can do it. And then imagine seeing someone fall and hit their head. Good laugh for the boys. So then he has to go pay the piper, get the fucking stitches. Of course, he deserves to come back. That's where the glory lies because now everyone just looking at you, it laughs and knows you're a fucking good fucking you're legend. A legend, yeah. yeah. They yeah. think, what the fuck? Not only did I see him <laughs> spinning in the air and crush his skull on the side of the pool <laughs> yeah. and then watch him go off to the hospital, now that c- Back here, <laughs> he's, he's out <laughs> drinking me. He's fucking had more than me, and he's had three hours at the hospital. Yeah. For, oh, he, man. For, yeah. That's godlike uh, shit, yeah, bro. That is fucking god. The moment he'd walk through the door would be the best moment. Oh of man, the whole imagine moment. bendering as an I'm Olympic. trying to hook up with him. <laughs> I would imagine honestly. bendering as an Olympics event. Like <laughs> they just had, a, had one from it. <laughs> From every country, every drug and drink you can think of there, and as as much as you can consume, and as long as you can stay awake, you're designated like a party room that's like Big Brother style. Yeah. There's certain activities you can do, yeah. objects you're given, potentials to fuck yourself and up. And the on. only song they keep playing is that <laughs> sandstorm. <laughs> Push me and then just <laughs> <laughs> all fucking day and night. Last one standing gets a fucking gold medal wrapped around their vomit. Oh, Man, oh, we would be good. At, we would have been good at that. Yeah. Oh, not, not here's, me. Here's the next one. <laughs> hey, Marty, Michael, you guys are so fucking sick, bro. You guys are absolute legends. You're exactly who fuck I want to yeah. be. Not going to lie. Yeah, fuck yeah. Um, so, funny story, and I, I think you should put this in the podcast. One. I was eating out this chick <laughs> to one of your videos, <laughs> and it got to the Matt Brown Black Book. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so, we kept going, and then 
then when when it got to the black book, she was like, "What the fuck are you watching?" Because she had never seen you guys before. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, don't worry. I just put on a different one. So <laughs> I went onto your website and put on the, is it bad to shit where you eat? <laughs> love you, fellas. Oh, we love oh, you too, dude. Hell. So dude. that, imagine growling out some bitch. And then you start hearing. Whoa, dude, how do you know sorry. she was a bitch? Sorry. Can you start hearing Matt's fucking stories back what he used to do? I was do. hoping they, were, they fucked while I was having at the same Maybe, time. Maybe, yeah. Kind of like a hey, he foursome. Have, yeah, he Man, might if that girl progress. can sit through... The black book and <laughs> you sh- don't shit where you eat. I wonder if she started hearing me Incredible. like, fuck, maybe this guy's like, like, uh, like Scat trouble. Guy. This guy's like, this guy could be dangerous and unpredictable. <laughs> if this is what he's listening to in his spare time. <laughs> <laughs> now this one right, is last one, honestly eh? probably the uh, the cream of the crop. The highlight. Wait, this The MVP is the of the day. Man. This one's probably the most fucked. It was... Um, is a tremendous story from New Year's this year. When the boys were out camping and um on we went up four being four wheel drive through the back of my mate's land cruise and one one of my friends Carl was sitting on a case of beer. And we hit this bump, we went up and down and he landed on the case of beer, smashed everywhere. We stopped, he thought it was sweat, we get out and he's just got blood running down his leg. And we had to spread his ass open, Man. clean the cut out, big hole in his ass, and it's got two arseholes, a double the fucks, <laughs> and um, fucking yeah. The next day, went to doctors got five stitches in his ass. Wow. So, oh. Now, man, the boys are both fucking at once. <laughs> <laughs> At least he went to the hospital the next day. Dude, yeah, I know. See, that's brave shit. A lot of people go, oh, fuck, 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 got to go to the hospital. I can't party anymore. If you can wait till the next day, you that's godlike shit. Or you come back. Yeah, or you come back. If you're going to go to the hospital and you don't come back, you pussy it out. Dude, imagine fucking jumping on a case of glass beer bottles. Dude, so he's gone over a bump like in the tray. We've done this many times. He's just your mate's drunk, of course. Full driving through the outback, and you're in the back tray. Next minute, he's bounced up, landed on a case of beer. They've split and broken oh. the glass, has gone into his ass, and then he's bled from his ass. Like, that's Fuck, brave, that brave so shit. so funny to see. Oh, man. Oh, he thought it was sweat originally. That's crazy. <sighs> oh. All right. Now, this oh, is our. been fucking hot. This one is, I just feel good vibes from him. I just could sense from his text message. If you send a, a good text message, we will call you potentially. We're going to call this number and we're going to see what this man has to say because okay. I can feel some godlike shit happening here. All right, let's see what happens. Just a random caller who called us. We're calling them now. Hello? Hello. Hello. We are. It, this is Marty and Michael calling live from the Fully Actual podcast. You have to do something. Oh, you, oh my God. My boyfriend called you guys. To the, no, put it to the can you wait? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, have yeah. to make a noise though. You have to make a noise that a pig, <laughs> that a pig makes oh. or we're hanging up. I was like... Make a noise that a pig makes, otherwise we have to hang up. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. You have to. Do some Five, oinks. oinks. Four. <laughs> Such three, pressure. Two. So you say oink. Just say... Oh, God, oink. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So she got in there. Okay. You say. You say. Oh, fuck, man. Please, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, those oysters made me feel ill. You, you only have yeah, one. I must say I the oysters were bad. What's your boyfriend's name? Winston. Um, Bailey. Bailey? Okay, oh. good. And what's your name? What's Lequeur. your name? <laughs> Emily. Emily and Ooh. Bailey. And Bailey. Emily and Bailey have sex. Family. <laughs> Emily and Bailey have and sex Bailey. together. <laughs> 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 Esther's here. <laughs> yeah. Right, hold on. Is he far away? <laughs> no, shouldn't be. Like oh. less than five minutes. Oh, oh shit! Look, I'm we may call, call back. back. Oh, Just tell him to call us. If I call back, he's gonna answer. Yes. Yes. Surely. Maybe. Yeah. Only if you make the sound of a cat that is under attack. A cat that is under attack. Then we oh. will answer the call. I can't. Come on now. You come on. How bad do you want it? I'll call you. How about you? We're not answering. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Bailey's gay. He's breaking up with you. She's calling now. 
It's too late. She didn't make the cat sounds. Oh, wow. That's See, we are harsh here at Marty. See, we are stern but broadcaster fair. Broadcaster Pro too. Well, answer? we're not really fair. We are stern. Hello? Hello? We are f- Just firm. Just one good test. Stern that. and firm. Oh man, so yeah, that's um, that's happened sometimes, and she's she's now tried to call back, but we couldn't answer because, well, look, all we wanted was just a cat under a tax out, <laughs> and we couldn't we couldn't get it. We are stern Please. and firm. We are we we call, but you know, we we also expect some some form of. I want you to be vulnerable with it's us. It's respect. Yeah, it's just a level of respect. I want you to be vulnerable with us and and and, uh, and, and, and to make, be able to make noises if we ask for it. It's very simple. So, Bailey, you fucking tell... What was her name again? Emily. You tell Emily that she f***ed this up for you. She f***ed it up. <laughs> it caused like a domestic violence. Okay, oh, my so. God. I would right. be f- well pissed. Let's bloody move right along, everyone, because we're bloody, bloody, bloody idiots. And I'll tell you what, I don't wear a seatbelt most of the time when I'm driving. F***ing who cares, brother? It's time for trauma <laughs> trivia. Trauma, trivia, trauma, trauma trivia. Trauma trivia. Trauma trivia. <laughs> and this is oh, a segment I'm where wh- Matt asks me and Michael questions. And if we get them wrong, we get some sort of physical pain hurt. Oh, man. What's the physical f- pain this week um actually it'll be based on what you pull out oh it's oh, nothing f- f- though. can't oh the podcast meant to be a break from pain <laughs> you f- so wait, as long as you don't have like stab each other or f- fucking potato gun fuck or you emily <laughs> oh sorry are you causing so much hate towards oh. emily no she sounded like a lovely person Max. she ruined it she, for bailey she, you've got she, a girlfriend I, I, Matt. I felt fucking there was gonna be a she good wanted, story from bailey she bailey wanted that for bailey. stories anyway sorry she uh, wanted that for bailey now. well look we can try again next week but bailey better bailey bloody better get his goal and make some cat sounds I'll who would like to much. pull this out i'll have a bloody turn of it. just grab one Shit. please and just let me know what you got oh, oh yeah oh, yeah Right, so we've pulled Australia out of a hat. We have no idea what this means. Oh, is this the topic? <laughs> this is the topic. Ah, okay, all right. I'm, I'm pretty Aussie, confident. Aussie, Aussie. I wasn't even born here, but oh no, we're oh, all here, yeah. brother. Fuck, it's not a good punishment. Belt slap. Oh, oh, for fuck. Just a light one. Okay, all right, let's do it. And we'll do it on the wrists. I, I, I have you got the belt? Ass. Yeah, I'll go get a belt. We'll be right back with the belt. Have a bong. Have a bong. Have a bong. Fuck you, Emily. <laughs> Have a break, have a bong, have a bong, have a break. Here I go, baby. (laughs) This is the real shit. (laughs) Knees, knees, I've got some knees. Knees, 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 knees to me, please. What's the daily, yo? And we're back with Belt. All right, Brown, let's fucking hear it as he adjusts his little hair. What, 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 what's the daily, yo? You can do that with your hair. You know, the, just the apple top bit. Would, how much would I'd love to see you really get into How much money spikes. would it take to, for you to, to cut all your hair off except for the bit at the top, spike it up like that and dye it that yellow with a black bit on top so it's like the tip of a banana? You could do that. You could fucking do that with your hair. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. Okay, 10 grand would you do? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, of course you would 10 grand. You're not cutting it. 10 grand. What? So I just, each day it's dyed and I just got to No, you just, you just have, that, have that haircut. So I spray one, paint For one it day. Up. Yeah, just well, have that haircut. If I can just style it like that, yeah, 10K easy. Then I, I'd style that for a month like that. For 10K? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start a fucking GoFundMe <laughs> <laughs> we could even spray paint you, you yellow. You said it and here. Shit. You can't undo this now if we get to 10k. Do you promise? Hey, mate, I'm no Emily. Do you promise? <laughs> <laughs> I promise. Oh no, Emily's lovely. I Ring feel bad. So your- if we raise 10 grand, you will cut all of your hair off except for the bit on top. No, no, I will dye my hair yellow. No, and I, I will I, start. Listen I didn't to what know I'm you saying. Said cut. Yeah. Cut, well, cut, the cut the, uh, So you only have the tip of the banana on yeah, your head. Nah, how, so how much would it take? Fuck fifty k. You wouldn't do that for forty grand cash. Probably forty grand. Well, you wouldn't do it for twenty thousand dollars if I came to you with twenty thousand dollars. That's a house deposit. Yeah, I'd probably do it for twenty k. Okay, so what about fifteen thousand then? No, 15 you wouldn't K, bullshit. Would if I rocked up I would not with fifteen thousand dollars, I would do it for twenty k minimum. That is fucked up, man. 
But I'll that even issues. 19, I wouldn't do it. I promise you. It'd take 20. But you will do it for 20. I, I would just, I'd be pissed off. I'd be a shitty boy for a long time. You only have to have it like for one day, but obviously your hair will be dyed yellow and black at the tip. It might not look too bad once you like wash it and let it fall. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it would be a very, very Dude, shame. Dude, that would be... Okay, so guys, we've got 20Ks <sighs> limit. Anyway, let's move on with the segment. We've got a bit sidetracked. Sorry, Brown Town. I am... I, listen, Australia! I, I apologise. Australia. Oh, no. I'm for it. I want to see that hair. No, you have to strike us, Brown. I'm not striking. You are the strike master. I'm, I'm sorry. Hugh Jackman. We're too close oh, to each other. You'll have to come to me then. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, really? I have to strike yes, you. Yes. You, this is oh, your... That makes me feel exactly, fucking terrible. Exactly. Rig in with your ring. And then that means your missuses will blame me yeah, well, for the bruises. Kind of fault. All right, well, let's hear it. First question. Let's go, baby. Everyone's bloody patiently waiting. You banana looking. Is everything all right? Michael, what is the longest river in Australia? I know it. Oh my god. Shit, 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 shit. shit. That's it. No, no. How'd you know that? <laughs> I'm going to say um, it is obviously the one. <laughs> Fuck, I'm not 100% sure on my answer. Uh, it is It is Lake Murrumbidgee. That's not a river. <laughs> <laughs> what about this? Do we allow steals if they get it wrong? Yeah, of course. Okay, sorry. Here we go. The Murray River. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Yes. Oh my god, I lost. <laughs> that well, is I correct. <laughs> well, I was close. Lake Murrumbidgee. That's true, actually. Let's all get hit. No. Fuck. Okay, look on the wrist. On his knee, I reckon. No. Let's test it. Michael, pick where it is, and it's the same spot every shin? time for the rest. What about of the time? shin there? Oh, actually. So you then you have my, to. My, you have to. D- don't my move much, Matt. Oh, don't god. fucking hold back, Matt. Otherwise, this is just going to be a fall on oh. deaf ears. Oh, shit, man. Yeah, you oh, let him have shit. it. How dare he not know oh, what the biggest shit. fucking river in Australia oh, is. Oh, shit. What's up? Oh, shit. Whoa, I'm scared. Fucking give it to him, Brown. Is that bad? It's not fun. It's not fun. It didn't look that bad. Matt, oh. That was a four out of ten. You give him a ten. Yeah, five. that was that was a four. Bring, as hard as you can. Bring in with your, your ring. I'm, I'm pretty annoyed at how easily he got away with that. He All doesn't right. know how to because he's elbow. elbow. All right, well, yeah. let's do it to each other then. Next question. Oh, sorry, I had some injuries. I thought you might want to do it to each other. All right. Uh, next, next question, question is, is for Marty. Marty. Um, when did the did first Melbourne, Melbourne Cup, Cup take, take place? place? Oh, I know this. Melbourne Cup is the, the biggest horse races in Australia. Yeah, and my, this is unfair because what Michael's, Michael's family is so heavily involved with the Melbourne Cup that of course he's going to know this. What is, year was the first Melbourne Cup? 1905. That is incorrect. Look, it was obviously the war took a toll on everyone. <laughs> So I'm going to say 1950. <laughs> the water took a toll on everyone. <gasps> Who's right? <laughs> no, I do. no, it's incorrect. Oh. The first Melbourne Cup took place in 1861. Oh I was God. right. I must hit you. I must hit you as hard as I can. Oh. I will now strike your foot. I, I will now strike your foot. I will now strike your foot with oh, all no, my no, force no, that no, I can. No, no, I will no, now no, fuck no, your no, leg. No, Look how high my no, arm no, goes. No, Look how high no, my no, arm no, goes. No, Look how no, high no, my no, arm no, goes. No, I must no. move forward so I can oh. leverage and I will crunch down into this strike. Don't hurt. Don't hit my knee. I will crunch and use my force. I push from my oh legs my and the energy God, travels through my torso and expels from my fingertips <laughs> as I strike through my target. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't hit my knee. Don't hit my fucking knee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, it's not <laughs> Oh no, that's gonna suck if that happens. Oh my to me. god, Holy it's shit. so painful in the foot. <laughs> oh, I felt like so hard. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. James got a chuckle out oh, of that. Oh, still one. pain. I was scared you hit my knee. I would never do that, baby. Yeah, Long we, way we away. never hit injuries. Oh. Next question is for Michael. Oh my god! Yes, the Australian koala's diet consists of mainly of oh, what? So easy. Oh yes, it's so easy. Eucalyptus leaves. That is correct. Oh 
yes! Oh, it's one all. Shit. Oh, no, it's two one. Do I, do I get a chance to answer correctly as well? <laughs> so, no, no on your you get go. advantage on your go. Oh, hang on. Uh, Only if I fuck it up, then you. No, get no, to he go. gets it right, so he doesn't get hit. And then if he gets it wrong, you get a chance. I find I find that this is bullshit. <laughs> well, what would you like to do? I'd like to get struck by that bell, nice and hard. <laughs> <laughs> His name's Ray. <laughs> Ray. Don't hit me with a buckle, otherwise I won't be going home tonight. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> okay, is it? Hang on, watch it. Oh shit! What about the ankle? Have you ever tried the ankle? Maybe. <laughs> oh, this is going to hurt you. Nah, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm not worried. <laughs> 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 ah! Oh, yeah. oh my god, it hit my heel, which isn't too bad. It wasn't oh, too bad. Oh, very good. All right, it's not too bad. Okay. I'd probably give that maybe a an initial five, but it was more shocking. I um, feel like the solid kind of like ones. watching a, a car accident and a baby that's not strapped in properly getting uh, fucking launched out the front rinse windscreen. That's the kind of shock I felt. So what's the score here? Two one. Yeah, 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 yeah. two one. Yeah, because you, you got you stole a. I stole a question. You stole a question. So, yeah, with those ones, it's whoever's closest. I can't believe I said 1950 and I can't believe I said mm. lake. All right, I've got to give an Fuck easy you. one for Marty. All right, Marty, what is Australia's national cake? Oh, yes. Oh, shit. Think of a cake only in Australia. I know. It. Yeah, but there's a, there's a couple that it could be. A fucking cake. Don't fucking... I, I know what it is, so I've is won. It, is a lemington a cake? Oh, you fucking got it. Well yes. done. I was gonna say Pavlova. Oh, nah, that's shut that, that up. was that was the other thing that because I was like, but then I was like, oh, does New Zealand or Australia? So it wasn't as Australian. What? So it's fucking anyway. a Lamington is the only thing in Australia. A Lamington, baby. Anyway, all great bakeries sell them. Show me your foot now. Oh, no, mm. dude, I've already got a, a Ooh, fucking. Yeah, I see a little ache. irritation. Oh. Dude. oh, so inflamed oh. and sore. Oh. It oh. hurts so much already. Oh, the flesh is tender and it wants to heal. It's trying to heal itself. Ah! It needs to ah! rest. It needs I'm to, scared. I'm it scared. It needs I'm to scared. rest. I'm scared. Huh? I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> you got the tip of a dickhead. <laughs> Fuck. You got the tip. That's so shit. I got the tip. Oh. I got the tip. Oh. Did I really? Oh. Wait, here? Ah! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> That's shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, God, did man. the end get you? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. I was trying to do. It got oh. maximum velocity. How pain. Yeah, that was a good seven. Yes. Next question, Brown. Bluen. <laughs> oh, recover. Brown recover. banana. <laughs> Brown banana. He's <laughs> too overripe banana. Oh. Okay. okay. So I've got so some good some questions, questions here. here. Um, All right. All right. Uh, As of June, June 2023. 2023. This is, is Michael's question. question. Michael's question. question? Michael's, Michael's question? question? Yes. Michael's, Michael's question? question. <laughs> As, As of June 2023, 2023 what is Australia's, Australia's population? population? June 2023? Yeah. Remember, this is a higher, lower thing. So take a guess and be boop, smart boop, about boop. it. Have think brain. Closest <laughs> well, to the number. Squeeze brain, have think. Huh? Don't you fucking touch me, platypus. <laughs> Yeah, you're a platypus. <laughs> Don't. Now, look, considering for the first time ever, for some reason, Australia's population growth has sort of not gone as normal as it used to. I wonder why. The death rates were really high. Yeah, hey. something wrong. <laughs> Lots of like um, bear attacks. And I hope shit. you get this right. Now, <laughs> I'm going to say it is at 20. Five million. <laughs> All right, 25 million. Marty, what do you think? I'm going to say 25 million and one. Oh, you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me. It's 27 million. It's 27. It's 26 million. 638. <laughs> five, four, I was close. If I, I won person, I, can't I was close. If I won. Person. All right, oh, let's see the little other. Oh. Don't touch it, just belt it. Oh. Shit. Oh. Mm, it looks oh. raw. Oh. 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 We better put oh. some ice on oh. it. Huh? Oh. Oh. 
Oh, I've got a nice cold bell. Oh. I'll put some ice no! on it. Oh, fuck, man. I can't handle this shit. Ah! <laughs> Fucking oh. tip, dude. Dickhead. You're a dickhead. Oh, the tip hurts. Oh. Oh. The tip hurts. You sound like them bitches I used to f***. <laughs> that's not it's just a joke, guys. That's, Look, uh, that hurt, and is that all of it? Because that's four-one in the questions. I guess it's a fair win to yeah, my. Oh, you did win last week with the um, when we we're talking about um, drum sets or whatever the fuck golf. we're talking about golf. Sorry, yeah. Mm, yeah. So everyone, that was trauma trivia. Let us know in the comments if you think that that's fucking a hyped up awesome segment that you really want to get around and tell people about or if you'd rather fucking go outside and watch the sunset yeah well look apparently it's good to do that yeah i love it oh bullshit yeah, actually, I was lying. I it's like someone's slowly shit. turning a light off. Pretty sure Gary Brecker, the guy. Yeah, no, nah, it works. It works. <laughs> it could. No, nah, it's more morning light, brother. It's more the fucking morning light. Sets your circadian rhythm to the right fucking spots and that and gets your melatonin going so you know when you go to bed at night time and that wakes your fucking body up from head to toe, brother. Tick. 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 Well, it's time for how funny. famous are we? Oh, yeah, we've got some good. Fame, fame, wants I fame. want fame. What's my name? It's not a game. He wants fame. My name is not a game. I need fame. <laughs> and that's the, that's the spirit of things here, everyone. And we want to find out how famous are we? And the only scientific way to do that is to message other famous people. And if they reply, that's then when we know we are on their level of fame. Do you get it, bro? We are on their level of fame, bro. And then every time we get it, we step it up. We step it up. <laughs> it's fair to say the roof, baby. that we, uh, we found out something, I guess, this week. We are not as famous as Jessica Malboy. She She's more famous. Back. She's more famous than us. <laughs> Dude, with a lot, we've gotten a lot of replies. Okay, so last week we messaged Jessica Malboy, okay? And look, she didn't reply. So, you know, I'm thinking something's gone wrong there and maybe she's just got the new phone and she's not sure how to use it or something, but she hasn't seen our DMs. But So we went ahead and messaged a few other people. We messaged, so we've gone ahead and messaged Danny um, Filippo mm. from Racka Racka, right? Oh, uh, yeah. And he replied immediately. So that's good. I um, th don't forget to, uh, uh, how do I uh, like unread it? Oh yeah, there we go. I have Beautiful. to, I have to put it out there. <clears throat> Danny from Racka Racka in the, in another year, I think will be 10 times yeah, as oh, big dude. as Jessica Malboy. And they're such Malboy. legends too. Well, they're, I'd say he, they're, uh, look, they're world they're famous bigger, at the they're moment. They're bigger, they're bigger than fucking Dave Hughes. Oh yeah. So we have definitely now upgraded. What did he, what did he say to us? What did Danny say? He just said, um, yeah, what did he say? He said, yo, yo, just writing and writing, hoping to shoot our next movie this year. So just finishing some drafts. How are you guys? So he's just go. fucking, he's a fucking good cunt. And um, there you go. So we are, we are on their level, but it gets better. All right. Now we all know the pinnacle of fame is maths. So Fuck off For you is. overseas people that's married, married at first, first sight. A reality TV show here in Australia. And Michael went to the trouble of DMing a bunch of them. All right, he just Maths DM'd a bunch of them. Fuck off! And so the first one he DM'd, Melinda. She has nearly six hundred thousand followers. Now, so, just so you guys know, these are all people from not the current season. This is last year's yeah, season because current seasons they're not allowed on their social media, so we couldn't. But these guys are fucking popping, bro. They're fucking hectic as shit and popping. Six hundred k, bro. That's fucking hectic, good shit, bro. Matt Brown, surely she's it's done hectic, good something shit. else. So Michael opened with, <laughs> even though it's a woman, hey mate. Really enjoying you on maths. How's it going? <laughs> she said, she thinks that we're watching her now. <laughs> she said, hello, who am I talking with? Marty or Michael? I was on the last season just making sure you have the right person as the new season is currently airing. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, she thinks we're that dumb. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Michael went ahead and messaged another one. Harrison. I don't know if you'll remember Harrison. Nobody remembers season. Harrison. I do. Har yeah, he was like the controversial Shut one. Shut up. Mm -hmm. the controversial he cheated, one. and that's bad. Look, anyway, he's on 71K, so, like, yeah, he should be replying. Let's I be honest. I you started with 70K when you started. Yeah, I started so I, but apparently you start from zero or something. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it must be They changed the rules. Anyway, Michael says, 
hey, mate, really enjoying you on maps at the moment. How's it going? <laughs> Even though he was on last season. So he's, re- he's replied with, I'm not on maps at the moment. I think you mean Jack? It worked so well. I, in my head, I like this could work. So, what do I say back to this? Uh, let's just go. Um, <laughs> you get sick of this. Let's re- be like, no, you're, no, you're not. Um, no, yeah, uh, yeah. Get into an argument. Say, no, nah, you're on this season. I go, shit. Are you not Jack? <laughs> Is that too mean? It's like because he might feel oh. like he's so. Um, oh, okay. Oh shit! Sorry, mate. I'm currently on apps. And then shit. I reckon like now. I didn't really want to do this. I've sent it. Now rise, 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 up. rise up, everybody. Okay, so clearly we are as famous as people that went on maths last season, and that is so special to me, bro. Well, hey. it's look as we said before. That's just hey. Don't you put my finger? I was celebrating, bro. What the fuck, bro? Okay, sorry. I was just celebrating with my friends. Oh, oh, dude. Okay, yep. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Bro, what the fuck, bro? You are being so fucking bork. So look, we are as famous as the people from last season. But what's even bigger is Raka Raka. Danny, what a legend! They're kind He's of our friends, back so to us. it was kind of like cheating, yeah, but cheating. But, but look, look, we, we got to show, it. we got to float our boat where we've got it. That's exactly right, mate. And now we message cool. someone else for next week. Who I reckon could Wendell Sailor be bigger? Wendell fucking Sailor. Wendell fucking Sailor. Which one is he? Is he as famous though? Yeah. Wendell Matthew Brown. Now Matthew, Matt, you Brown. don't know, but he actually follows us. Matthew Brown, okay. Does he really? Wendell Do I Saylor, actually nail that For guess? those who don't know him, Wendell Saylor used to play for Australia in the Rugby Union and League. for the NRL. Was it both of them? Yes, both. Wow. He's a freak a athlete and he's done cocaine. Yeah, and so that's we're going to message him and we're going to see what far King happens. Oh, wait, we got big news. All right, so we've already messaged him. <laughs> I couldn't help it when I found out he followed us. And he has replied. Do you believe us, Matt? James, this is big. Big Dell, he's replied to us. I don't believe So we messaged him and said, Big Dell, Adam McGoodle just told us a funny story about you. Wanted to know if it was true or not. And then he goes, yeah, dogs, love him. (laughs) So we talked to Wendell Saylor. Wendell, we're on Wendell Sailor's level right now, bro, and that's fucking hectic. I'm fucking. What I'm the on a fuck high. is going on right on now, bro? <laughs> oh, I could die right now and be so fucking good, eh? We uh, that's a lot of celebrities that we just fucking were in the same room with, bro. We should get them all on a voice call and just fucking <laughs> have a big group chat, big fucking party, kind of Wow. So let's fucking do a prank call. I could give the fuck yeah, it's time for prank call you. Old pig shit press the your, your time is there for us, us to waste. waste. Picking up your phone was the first mistake. mistake. Ha, 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 ha. It's prank call time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Brisbane City Council. This is Alex. Hey, Alex. Um, my name's Dakota. Um, and this is kind of a um, strange call, but um, I'm just, I just have some really kind of deep concerns um, that I don't feel like are being met or there's nothing really being done about that. So um, I was just wondering if there was someone I could talk to about possibly, um, yeah, something being done about this. I'm sorry you feel that way. What's the root of your issue so I can help you further? What What's the issue that you're wanting council assistance with? Yeah, so, like, I'm noticing, like, all this data and experts and everything chiming in and saying, like, climate change is happening. Um, and I, it just gives me such, like, anxiety, like it should everyone. But, like, I'm not seeing any, like, real changes yet. Like, I'm, yeah, sure, like, people, you know put the bins out and stuff like that, but there's no like real changes being made. And I just, I, I feel like as, as, as a citizen of Brisbane, I have a voice and I have a right to, to demand that something changes. And I just want to know who I need to speak to about that because it's getting to a point now where I am getting fed up with the lack of action. Okay. Yeah. I understand your concerns. Look, um, 
from like a holistic point of view, I guess on climate change, I'll, I would be writing to your local member, um, Lord Mayor, CEO. What can you put me deal. through I mean, to him? I is he available or something? Because like I would just really no, feel like. So the best thing that you need to do is raise your concerns in writing. Firstly, um, yeah, you're not going to get a direct line to the Lord Mayor. The Lord Mayor's office is also closed. It's quarter to six. So normally I would put you through to a staff member for them, the Lord Mayor's administration. But um, is there like, is there like, your concerns. is there like a reason or anything? Like, in is there like a reason or something though that like, like, do, like surely someone, like you're, you're an adult, okay? Like we're all adults. Surely there must be someone who knows like why isn't anything being done about it yet? Why? Why hasn't? Why hasn't yeah, there been? So, the world is heating up so at such you, a pace. Do you know what I mean? Like it's so scary right now. <sighs> yeah. So there's three levels of government. You've got federal, local, and state. Um, the best thing to do is discuss with your local. It's too long. It's man. it's too long to do. Like uh, like, aren't you worried? Like, do you have kids and, and stuff like that? Like, don't you want your kids to live in a in a world where it's not so bloody hot that they have to. They don't even have a winter anymore. Did you want me to connect you through to possibly any like support services? Yeah, yeah, may, like, maybe. I, mean, I don't. I don't know that I can help much further than I have, Look, rather than letting you know initiatives for green waste reduction and things like that. Um, I think the best thing would be to write to your local member, but I could potentially put you through to Beyond Blue or someone similar and just have a chat. Oh, they don't really do anything for me. They just kind of like, like I, I look. I'll try and calm down, okay? But the reason I'm calling is just I feel like. There's nothing really concrete changing and there is irreversible damage, okay, that, that is happening right now. And I would just like someone to take some action, any kind of action. Mm. Like even, even you and I as adults, we can take action right now, okay? Like me calling you right now, that's me taking action. Is there something that you could do to take action? You personally, I, I know you're just, you know, you answer the phone, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, yeah, but I'm a staff member within the contacts. Exactly, exactly. So exactly. I have, I have no could you stand up? Maybe change. just stand up right now and just say, maybe just stand up and say, take action. If you could just at least do that, that would instill some confidence in me. Can you just stand up and say, I will take action. Like, I just need to hear it from someone. Let's get some passion going again and let's get this movement flowing stronger than ever. So stand up with me right now and let's say I will take action on three, okay? I'm really sorry. I, I can't do that. I'm also working from home, so no one else is going to hear it, pal. So, yeah, I'm really sorry. You can say, say it for me no then, please. Say it for me, okay? Let's do this together right now, okay? On three. One, two, three. I will take action. <sighs> I, I will take action, yeah. Thank you, okay? Thank you. But That's all I, I needed to hear, to okay? concerns within writing, potentially the Lord Mayor, your local government, asking what they're doing. And remember, there're three levels of government, so it's not just council. Um, yeah, 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 that's pretty much all I wanted. That's... Ours is often budget related too, and and mechanisms there. But I know they're trying to reduce waste at least and things. Yeah, like that. yeah. But I, I would have a look at putting those concerns in writing and getting a reply from everyone and seeing. Yeah, right. What they okay. Need. But for CEO Lord Mayor, you are best to put those requests in writing. Yeah. Okay, sweet. All right. Well, yeah, that sounds pretty easy. Oh, well, thanks for. For the chat and um, yeah, I'll 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 put it in writing or something and um, and take yeah, what you said on board. No worries. All right, mate. Yeah, with it. yeah too easy. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate that, mate. <laughs> See you, mate. Oh man, I lost control. <laughs> Dude, that is fucked. <laughs> He yeah, said it. He said, he said, I, said I will it. take action I will in his take house it. alone. He's alone in his house and he says, I will take action. Will take Dude, action he didn't want a bar of that. <laughs> I will take action, he said. He oh, said that man, to get you good. away. That was anyway, fucking Anyway, don't forget great. to like, comment, subscribe. Give us a five-star review on Spotify. It keeps the whole wheel churning, bro. And let us know in the comments if you want, if you want some fucking challenges to do during the prank call, baby. Because that shit was hectic. I found some fish cakes on the floor. Oh, oh, oh fish oh. eggs? Oh. Pop it in your mouth. Google it! Ah. <laughs> anyway, we're the best, 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 we're the best,